I just took a walk up to the mailbox about 30 minutes ago and you can't even see my my tracks. The wind is still blowing like crazy and I don't know how well you can tell but these uh, snow drifts are pretty deep. That one's almost up to my knee. There's my knee right here. Uh, wind's blowing about 35 miles an hour. You can't even tell where I plowed the driveway this morning. That wind is blowing something crazy. I don't know how well y'all can see it. But... I'm not going to plow the drive again until this stops because it's just going to get covered up again. But it's kind of, snow's kind of stopped a little bit. I mean, it's still snowing, but not like it was. And you can kind of see how the snow's been drifting. It's not supposed to stop until sometime this evening. You can see that's as far as I made it with the car this morning. I got about right here and the tires started spinning. You know, we had some snow the other day. It melted and everything froze so driveway is nothing but a sheet of ice. Just can't get any traction. I'm up here at the road and you can see there hasn't been any traffic. It's about three-tenths of a mile from the trailer to the road. And you can kind of see the ridges from where I plowed this morning. And it's pretty much all filled in now. I don't know how well y'all can see the snow blowing, but it's, it's moving. mile-an-hour winds and, uh, last time I looked it was 22 degrees but it's about five o'clock we're getting close to five o'clock it's probably about a quarter to five now and I'm pretty sure the temperature is going to start dropping and I just walked up to the road and you can barely see my tracks I mean it's It takes me about five minutes to walk up to the road. I don't know if you can see how close the hay field there. It's almost like ocean waves where the snow has been 